Hey, how's it going? This is Hellbent, and uh, sometime in early 2017, so probably January, I'm going to be releasing the new auto clicker that I'm working on currently. And I was thinking that what I'll actually do is I'll give you a chance to let me know some features that you would like to have added in while there's still time for you to actually uh, let me know some what you'd like. So I figured I'm going to release a earlier auto clicker that I created so this is gonna be a, the one I'm releasing today is uh, what I call a smart auto clicker now what my initial plan was that I wasn't gonna release this because there's a few things that I want to change about it that I'm gonna make better than its current iteration it's it's a it is a good auto clicker it works really well and what it does is just amazing like I, I love this auto clicker but there's some things on it that I'm gonna be improving before I like I said I was planning on improving upon before I released it but um, like I said I have the new one that I'm gonna be releasing in January and I wanna give you a chance to give me some ideas that you would like to have added to it so um, before let me just uh, go into the auto clicker that I'm releasing today so as always this is a 100 percent free auto clicker um, if there's no download involved unless you don't have auto hotkey if you don't have auto hotkey which is the scripting software which it's written in uh, and you'll need auto hotkey in order to run it uh, if you like I said if you don't have auto hotkey that's the only reason why you'll have to download anything um, but other than that it's just gonna be a copy and paste into a, a blank notepad and it'll work for you just fine um, if you don't have auto hotkey just google it up go to their page download it takes less than two minutes um, so I'll show you first how to get a copy of this in the description there's gonna be a link to a paste bin file and all you're gonna do so you'll see this paste bin I created this back in May of last year and I only, I only released this to a few people so so yeah I, I created this paste bin back in May of this year um, so you're, you're gonna find this paste bin you're just gonna go basically down to the raw raw paste data click anywhere in it hit control a and that'll highlight everything then hit control C to copy it into your clipboard open up a blank notepad so obviously this one's not a blank one but open up a blank notepad hit control V to paste it in go to file save as pick any name that you want it to be and at the end for the extension just hit dot a h k save it and you are good to go so obviously I don't want to save that um, <clears throat> once you have it saved into a, a notepad you're gonna find where you saved it to and what you should find is a white page with a red H on it if you don't see a if it doesn't look like this like a white page with a red H on it it means one of two things either you don't have auto hotkey yet so you have to go get auto hotkey the, if you do have auto hotkey and it still doesn't look like this if it looks instead like this what you have to do is change the association so just right click on it go to its properties and then it's it'll say opens with and it'll probably say open with notepad all you have to do is hit change switch to auto hotkey this is just for your AHK extensions switch to auto hotkey and then it should look like this then to run it all you have to do is hit right click at the very top you'll see run script hit run, open hit the run script and you'll get this now I'll show you how to use it so this is a smart auto clicker how it works is right now the version that this I designed it for a specific application so this is one of the things I'm going to be changing with the updated version in the middle of next year is this get control ID so so let's say if I'm playing a game that's on a browser and I have two tabs open in the same browser this current version doesn't differentiate between those two tabs so it'll click on both of them so if I have one that I do want it to click on and then I switch to the other one if the auto clicker is still on it'll still click but other applications such as this paint have their own unique ID and if I click this get control ID 
and then switch turn on my auto clicker and then switch to another page it won't click on this page it'll only click if I have this page open so bear that in mind so another thing that makes this a smart auto clicker is I don't have to pause it and start it like once I start it that's it it'll start it'll stay going as long as I want if I want to pause to do something else so let's say if I want to open up a new window and look at something else for a few minutes or do something else all I have to do is just move my cursor and it'll stop on its own so how this works is we're gonna select a point anywhere on our screen so I'm gonna select this point right here and it'll update the values around that point so this is the point I selected around this point there's now an imaginary box and this the size of this box is denoted by this auto restart zone size so I have an imaginary box that's 40 pixels to the left and right 40 pixels to the up and down so basically it'll be 20 pixels in this direction 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 if I want to start the auto clicker I just move my cursor inside of that imaginary box if I want to stop the auto clicker all I have to do is just move my cursor out that's it so I have a box here that's about the same size as that so I'm gonna select that as my point I'm going to adjust everything so just follow along what I'm doing I always take so I don't know why I always take so damn long to do these demonstrations so I have everything set up I hit update a couple of times because auto hotkey is weird like that and then I hit start auto clicker it'll jump to that point and it'll start clicking and you'll notice a counter below it to stop it all I have to do is just move my cursor outside of that box to start it again I just move it inside that box and that's it that's how it works if I want to go do something else, if I want to click over here, no problem. When I'm ready to go back to auto clicker, I just move it back. I do all my stuff over here, and I go back. Okay, so that's it for this auto clicker. Like I said, I'm going to be releasing an updated version, a better version of this, sometime mid-2017. Um, but like I said, I'm working on this one right here, which is a 10-in-1 auto clicker. So you can set 10 different positions to click. You can also select a so that it clicks everywhere. So wherever your cursor goes, you can have it click there. Or you can have up to 10 positions. So I can set this as a position, this as a position, this as a position, and it'll cycle through it. So go ahead pause pause the video take a look at what you see here and if you see something that strikes you as that you would like to see added to this let me know down in the description or let me down know down in the comments and if I get your your feedback soon enough I might be able to incorporate it before I get the finalized version ready to be released uh, sometime early next year okay that's it hope you enjoyed be sure to hit that like button to keep these auto clickers coming um, like I said, I, these auto clickers are free. They take a long time to write. So what I ask of you is all you have to do is take two seconds to hit the like button. That's it. That's all you have to do. And you'll, these auto clickers will keep coming. There'll be new ones, better ones, and there'll be other products as well. That'll always be free if you hit the like button. See you on the next one.